Hey guys, what's going on? Odama here and welcome back to episode number 6 of my Level Up series on Football Manager 20 where I'm taking Hashtag United through the levels of the English footballing pyramid. Now, let's have a look at the games that we've missed and we've you know, been doing everything in our power to uh, continue this form. Been a 100% record, start off with a 2-0 win against Clapton, who were at the bottom of the, the league. I'm not too sure whether they are currently, but Tom Williams scoring a penalty and Funday getting a goal late on for a 2-0 nice clean sheet. Follow that up with a game against Tower Hamlets. Another 2-0 win. Williams on the score sheet again. And Evans getting a late goal this time. Um, another clean sheet. Very happy. Then the game against Hadley, where we won came out 3-2 victors in the end but we went ahead with a goal from Coveney um, and then they replied instantly with a goal through Kyle Roberts and he scored like it was like a 25 yard just banger um, and then Betteridge scored a goal for them to put them two up and we were struggling and we were on the ropes till the beginning of the second half where we um, went a bit more attacking and then ended up getting the two goals with Evans and Fundy midway through the second half to get was the three points. And then followed up with a 2-0 win, another clean sheet. Uh, Martin getting a goal in the first minute, <laughs> Tanza getting a goal right at the end of the second half. Um, decent performance all, all in all. And the last game, 6-1 against Ilford, um, which was insane to be fair, we just, everything was going in for us basically. And that game, Evans getting two, Williams getting a goal, Harrison getting a goal, Coveney getting a goal, Aaron ZB getting a rare goal actually, which is good to see. Um, so that sets us up nicely for today's game, where it's uh, Willingborough in the fourth round of the FA Vars, and then we've got Saul Bridgeworth in the league. So I'll quickly actually show you the finances. We've had a cash injection of 30 grand because um, we dipped below zero went into the red and um, but that 30 grand's pushed us back up to 18 grand our projection currently at the moment is only minus 65 which is good to see um, but we really need to keep progressing in the fa vars to get some much needed cash but anyway we'll jump to the team selection now for the first game all right we're at the uh, team selection now and as you can see a sude is nine days to three weeks to come back so he'll be making his return shortly um, which is exciting we're playing at home so I think we'll play a bit more aggressively put her set out on the right and Zibia in behind um, so much of a muchness Carter's been injured um, he's coming back from a twisted ankle so it'd be good to have him back because he's probably him and Glee are the, the best you know are my um, go-to um, two man midfield but let's have a look at the team anyway Jacko in that Izu Kovny Harrison Williams in defence Tanzan Glee in midfield Hersa Aaron Zibia, Evans and Richmond up top much of a much muchness in the four positions until at least the C day comes back, which kind of adds a bit more of a dynamic option. Rotating between Aaron Zibia, Hersey and the Sude will be interesting. It gives a good option off the bench as well. If we need a goal. Go with a get creative just to uh, hopefully get some chances here. Oh, they're looking in uninterested after their manager's uh, shout from the touchline, which is good to see. <laughs> really can't afford uh, mistakes today. Oh my god, Evans, what are you doing? Oh, don't. Don't be a red card. Uh, 
<sighs> Flipping it. Right. Right. Changes things. Oh, why? Yes. <laughs> Come on. Martin the super sub. <laughs> Getting the coal out of nowhere. What a ball that was by Izu. I did not expect that to happen. Yes, it lays it back off to Izu. Finds a dangerous ball into the middle. Martin peels off. The def defender doesn't follow him. And he does well, to be fair, to put that on target. Because there's a lot of pace on that. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Oh! Yes! <laughs> Richmond with a goal. His first goal in a, in, in a few games, actually. So, good to see him get on the score sheet. He's 24th of the season. Which is a good tally. A very good tally. Um, but it's kind of slowed up in the past few games, so it is really good to see him get on the score sheet, get some confidence back on into his uh, on into his sales. That's it. Oh, blunder at the back. Well, and we're absolutely throwing this away. Jesus. What the def defence is an absolute shambles. Martin just tucks that away as it just falls free of the uh, Well, and defenders. So we're 3 0 up now. It's surely uh, cruise control time. Even ten, even down to ten men, I'd expect us to see this game out for sure. Although they'll probably look to be more attacking now. Coveney don't need to do anything stupid. Nice. Another mistake, Martin's in again for his hat-trick. Seals the deal. Wow. <laughs> Absolute wow. That's what I'm talking about. I think he's the only, only the second player to get a hat-trick for us, which is fair play to Martin. Because like, he's kind of been on the fringes, really. He's not really had a look in, but he saved the day for us today. After that... Stupid tackle by Evans. Oof. Ooh. Richmond with a little tasty effort that was, wasn't it? Richmond in again. Oh, oh, what a goal. Oh my god. <laughs> Wellenborough have had a rough time of it. I mean, they've made some mistakes, don't get me wrong, but Jesus. Not been at the races, and that's just kind of just summed up their day, I think. What a strike. <laughs> what a strike. Plus, there's 5 0 up now. Fully in cruise control. Go through to the fifth round, which I think is the last 16. I'm pretty sure. Which is a good achievement, for sure. I'm very pleased with that. So, hopefully you get a favourable draw in the next round.
Good block. We saw. Shoots wide. Richmond's in first hat trick. Oh, come on. That's a shame. That is all over the place. That's a shame. <sighs> this has got. It's got to go down as one of the most impressive. Uh, very ambitious. <laughs> Gotta be go down as one of the most impressive uh, results so far. Because I think well and Burrow are doing pretty well in their division. So and I think they're a tier nine team like us. So very dominant display, especially down the ten men to score uh, five goals is just insane, really. <laughs> On air dog. I don't think I've done that in a long, long time, so just a testament to the level of the team it's currently playing at. Palaka, so is he going to get a consolation? Tries to find the ball in. Warren picks it up. Goes back to Palakis. Plays it inside to Wilson, who shoots. Flies over the bar, though. This looks like all she wrote. They're going more attacking. I think it's a bit too late for that. And they're now playing with a bit more freedom again. I think it's a bit too late for that. And there we have it. Full time. Hashtag United 5. Wellenborough 0. Martin with a hat trick. Richmond with a brace. Hit the dressing room. Tell everyone they were fantastic. And it was a fantastic result. The draw for the FA Vars is like in like over a week's time, so I won't show you that on the screen. But um, yeah, let's just jump straight to the Shaw Bridgeworth game then. And let's just quick pick for a second. Ricky Evans is obviously suspended. Um, hmm. Two days, six to twelve days out now. So close, <laughs> so close. Let's go. Let's get three points, baby. Guarantee this will be a dollar fair now because of uh, just because of how well we played last game. I guarantee this gonna, we're going to struggle in this game. I just got just got that feeling. Ooh, Hurst nearly finds a sneaky one in there. Unlucky. Yeah, the the league itself is just it's been a lot easier than I anticipated. Um to be fair the squad, the amount of wages we're playing paying comparatively to other teams, we really should be getting promoted. And I just didn't think it'll be as easy as it has been really. We've been very dominant. You know, from pretty much the get go. <coughs> Excuse me. It's just a man more. Let me 
Okay, so you took a little bit of a knock there. Just getting his conditions just uh, improving slightly though. Williams, deep ball in. I'm lucky not to find anyone. Easy though on the other side. What's he going to do? Is he going to whip the ball in? He is. To Martin. Oh, can't get a goal this time. Zibia shoots, gets blocked. Hurst hit, <laughs> 14th goal of the season for Lee Hurst. Very nice. Good to see him getting back on the score sheet. They have a guy actually on their team. Um, yeah, Lopez, who's playing. He scored like ridiculous I think he's scored like 20 odd goals in the league so far I think he's nearly got a goal a game I think so yeah I think he's pretty much got a goal a game <laughs> even Richmond I think Richmond's second highest and he's miles behind I think he's got about 15 in the league <coughs> excuse me easy Yeah, this Lopez, I don't know why he's so good either, because if you look at his, well, I'll get his stats up again in a second, he just looks terrible, oh, come on, poor defending, keepers should have done better as well, George Cully getting a goal, Lopez was the assister on this occasion. and whipping it out to Martin what a mistake come on what you've got to do better there mate you've got to do better let's just have a look a quick look at Lopez I'll tell you excellent just because I know I'll get a good reaction out of you it's because you're fickle people and if I lay it on too much they get demotivated when I've uh, complained at them before and said to the performance has been disappointing. They get demotivated, which isn't what I need right now because I want to get their three points. I want to try and wrap this league up as quick as possible. And then we can look to build for next season. Lee Hurst it now charging down that wing. Is he going to play the ball across? Ooh, stopple. And it looks like he's going to go off. The second yellow it is, the second yellow is off, and we've got a penalty now. Good opportunity to get secure three points. Williams, he's not messed a penalty so far this season. And he doesn't mess again. <laughs> he's too good. Too good for this level. <laughs> Eleven of goal for for a left back is nuts. It's a fair play. Yeah. Lopez here. Current ability from my scouts is a one and a half star. I mean, he's not that bad for this level. He's he's all right, but he's not. I don't know why he scored so many goals. He's not that good, you know. Isn't like you could understand if it was Richmond scoring all them goals because he's a lot better striker than all the players in this division, pretty much. Well, all the forwards in this division. Here's it now. Sprays it over to Martin. Buries it. What a strike. <laughs> what a confidence that's, that's a man with a lot of confidence takes a touch and then bang let's have a look at this again that was a really nice goal takes a touch sets himself up bang fires rifles in almost went through the keeper I'm with the man more. Yes, because I want to see us get another goal. Izu, big lump up forward. Doesn't find anyone. Tanzan out. Attempt number two. <laughs> does find Richmond who lays it off nicely to Martin. Martin does get tackled by Coley, but he does pick it up again, and then Coley does tackle him again. It's all a bit. 
scrappy there. Cleared now. Can he do? He turns it to, and turns it. Plays it off to Izu. He's going to cross it in. Can't find a new one, unfortunately. Tans is going to recycle it back out to him again. And that's another penalty. <laughs> oh, good. They just imploded. Lee Sweet. Not so sweet in that challenge. Absolutely fantastic use of... Uh, His surname there, and William tucks it away. Is it ever in doubt? Goal number 12 of the season for him. His second one of this game from the spot. Just been an all around dominant performance from Dion. Why not? I know. Barzay run out and pritch it. <laughs> Give Easy a little bit of a, br a breather as well. Tanza's just been just spraying balls all game. Out, out wide. Pritchett now this time. On the end of one of his balls. And there you go. It's all down to Tanza that one. Playing out to Pritchett. To be fair to him. Put in a nice dangerous searching ball across the six yard box, bang. Because it still has a lot to do from there, and he, but he does really well to score that, and that's his second goal of the season now. Which puts him on 9.3 ahead of Williams. Looks like he's going to take the man of the match in this game. Lopez was in there and we were going to see if he could get get a goal add to that amazing tally he's managed so far Tanza into feet a lead plays it into the channel for Fundy what's he going to do he's just going to cross it into no one <laughs> poor decision making <laughs> but it's alright when you're 5 or not you can get away with those sorts of things Ooh, gonna have a little attack here. Lopez is in. Lopez is in. Oh, <laughs> hits it over. Well, Jacko powers it over, but. On in the form he's having this season, you would have expected him to take that opportunity Gleed now trying to go it alone after doing a lot of running in this game Pritchett just a terrible throw <laughs> needless but there we have it full time hashtag United 5 Shawbridge worth 1 Hurset getting a brace Williams getting a brace Martin again go a goal and tell everyone you were excellent. And here we have it. It was in all our glory there. 65 points and 24 games played. Redbridge, who were second, were on 47 points. And played a game more than us. <laughs> Everything's looking perfect, pretty much. Bar that, well, I guess. That one defeat to Ilford, but you know, it is what it is. So let's have a look at when we're going to come back. Oh, there you go. FA Vars round five. We'll probably come back for that. And then South End Manor as well. So, yeah. I think that's good. Play a few games in between. 
Yeah, and then come back. We'll definitely come back for the FA Vars games, I think. I don't know whether I want this season to be like super long though, but that would be episode 7. So yeah, that's perfectly fine to be honest. Yeah, the build base for Frown then it is, and then South End Manor as well. Um, so I guess that does it for today's episode. Just turn my camera back on. So if you enjoyed it, leave a like. Dislike it if you disliked it. Comment if you want to comment on it. Subscribe if you want to subscribe. Thank you all for watching and I hope to see you in episode number 7.